You're watching Single Process with Joe and Bob. We created this video series to help you navigate the difficult process of divorce and we hope this helps you on your journey. Our topic today is whether a marriage can recover from infidelity. We've talked about yeah. infidelity before, but we didn't really focus on whether you can survive it. Yeah, I would think no. I would think for sure, because the trust is now gone. Well, sadly, as you know, I've been through this, yeah. and we did get divorced, but after a six-month separation, we got back together. It's amazing. And it's, our relationship is better than ever. And so I think it can happen. I just think it depends on the circumstances, and mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe they're keys to navigating this. Yeah, no, it's interesting. And, and so we have an, an expert with us who, who counsels couples through infidelity all the time. She's great. Lisa Ryan, 15 years of therapy with individuals and couples out of Westport, Connecticut, and she specializes in this topic. So, so tell us about infidelity. And I, I mean, is this a pretty common thing that couples are coming in because there's been infidelity? Well, it is for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear from people who want to put their relationships back together again because I don't hear from those people who don't get over it because they call attorneys. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, so, so really, um, it, it, the, the probability of putting things back together again is good, like it's you, good. Joe. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you've decided to call a therapist rather than an attorney, that then you've already put your chips on the table yeah. in the sense of where you'd like for this to go, hopefully. So it, it, it's a surprisingly high outcome, uh, a good outcome with infidelity. That's, that's surprising to me. I mean, I think infidelity is on the rise with, you know, access to Facebook and, mm -hmm. you know, all mm -hmm. the technology. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so much easier to hide and so much easier to get involved in, I would think. It's uh, easier to get busted, too. It's, yeah. <laughs> it is, because yeah, of devices and because of tracking devices so and true. because of Find My Phone and, and uh, all, yeah. there are all sorts of tracking devices. Yeah. So it, it is true and not true. It okay. is more difficult and it is easier. So what's the therapeutic process? So one's cheated and one hasn't. So the one that's been cheated on is bitter and angry and hurt. Okay. Well, the... It's a much easier outcome if the person who's been unfaithful uh, comes forward and says it first. That's uh, not always the case. No. Um, uh, more often than not, somebody gets caught, busted, mm -hmm. usually with an iPad or a cell phone or a text message or whatever. Um, Why does that make a difference? Um, well, because one is forthright, one, one has ownership, and the other one is, okay. is, is, is uh, caught hiding. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah. Yeah, one is deception and, and one is honesty. And you think to yourself, would I ever have known? If I hadn't caught them, would I ever have known? Yeah. You know, would it, yes. you know, and yeah. it's the deception. I think it's a lot of it yeah. is in the deception. Yeah, it's, it's betrayal. It's betrayal. It, you know, it's disloyalty. It's dishonesty. And it hurts. when when And it also hurts when you think that, that you have great judgment in a person and they would never do this to you in a million years. We talked about gut yeah. check earlier. Like, yeah. you, it doesn't occur to you. So you feel like not only were you betrayed, but like... Yeah. I don't even trust myself anymore. Exactly. It's trusting yeah. your own intuition. It is. I've had, I've had women come in and say, I was so stupid. What was wrong with me that I didn't see that? It's like, you are not stupid. Just because you, you expect the best from people, right. because you deliver the best, does not make you stupid. And you might see signs, but just not want to be able to accept that. It just might be a little too much to think. Like denial. Sure. Denial. Sure. Denial. Sure. So the first thing I do is um, I, I get rid of the boyfriend or I get rid of the girlfriend and I explain to couples that recovering from infidelity is a team sport, okay? So I ask them to <laughs> co-write a letter, a, a kind letter, because I don't want any litigation um, uh, coming back at them, saying that you've done nothing wrong. Um, you know, we think the world of you, we would very much like it uh, uh, understood that not, neither one of us would like to hear from you any longer. Longer, signed um, Anne and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Anne and Joe Smith. Okay, because there's something wow, quite that's pretty potent. powerful. I yeah, like that. you do. You I like do. that? Huh? I've never yeah. even heard of this. This is great. Okay, so you're writing a letter to. The well, it kind of puts to the whore that your ex yeah, is sleeping yeah. with. Def okay. <laughs> Definitely don't do it on company email. No, yeah, don't yeah. do that. Okay? okay. But many people are afraid of litigation, and rightly so. Rightly okay? so. So that exactly. So maybe the better way to go would be to put in a telephone call with with both of you on the line, mm -hmm. saying, you, you know, we we oh we God. we think the world of you. Um, we understand that these things happen. Uh, we love each other. Please um, help us protect our marriage, and we don't want to hear from you any longer. Okay, oh it's God. it's okay. dignified. You know, it it you know, you're putting your best foot forward. You know, that's what 
quality people can do this, okay? okay. It's hard, but if you take a deep breath, uh, you know, when you really inside want to call him or her all sorts of names. Um, I, I, it, I picture a phone it's, scam. It's the like better way the, to go. Uh, yeah. It's the better way to go. Morning. Yeah. It okay. okay. And, and then, then it's a, then it, the then it's a recovery um, okay. of, uh, well, uh, then it's a two-step recovery, Joe, of, of regular um, good old couples therapy marriage counseling. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I have uh, uh, all sorts of assessments where I'm checking for cavities to see who's disappointed or who feels unappreciated or why don't they spend time together or wh where the priorities are, are, right, are messed a, up. An affair typically, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. always, but typically is a symptom, not a cause, mm -hmm. right? It, people seek outside the marriage a lot of the time because something's wrong in the marriage, right? Is that right? Not always. Not always. No. Some, some people have affair. Uh, women are more likely to have affairs because they're lonely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, men um, are more likely to have affairs because they just fall into it. They trip into it. And it just um, really seems like a good idea at the time. Knocks. Well, you said something earlier about like sometimes you find people who are in love with two people. I, I can totally see that happening. Mm. And what was your comment about that, that you're in love with the the lifestyle of each almost uh, yeah and i feel terrible for those people i have absolutely no judgment at all uh, well for anybody in my office because it it it's excruciating it's awful it's it, to be unable to choose um it's it's yeah. it's very painful and and it exists people don't think that you can love more than one person simultaneously but you can you can yeah you okay, can so would you say so people are watching this mm -hmm. and they are either having an affair, they're considering having an affair. Mm -hmm. What advice are you gonna give people about this topic? Mm -hmm. um, w well, secondly, I'd like to, to answer the, the second half of your question. Oh, after couple, that's okay, after yeah. couples therapy, um, or simultaneously with couples therapy, um, I, I wanna underscore that, that if your husband had an affair on you, it's not your fault. He, yeah. he could have gone, uh, come to you and said, I'm unhappy. Yeah, yeah we, ways to do. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, she's kind of mean. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure, but yes, right. No, you're right, right. It's okay. not your, but you feel like it's your it, fault. It's not your fault. But, but that doesn't mean that every marriage can't get better. But, but the second and perhaps um, more important you know, aspect that really needs work is restoring trust. And there's only one material that restores trust, and that's truthfulness and honesty. And I've found transparency. Right, and and the more difficult the truth to deliver, the the uh, greater contribution you'll make to restoring trust again. Yeah, yeah. So like, no locks on your devices, no passcodes. Right. right. You know, just and it takes time, and I think it just takes, you know. And work. I think in the beginning you've got to go over and above to restore, you know. Uh, yeah, always. Always. Okay. And okay, so back so then, to your question. If someone is, is in this situation, is in having an affair, what do you think they should, you know, but they don't want their marriage to end? Should they just, you know, hide it and get back to their marriage or do you come clean? Well, um, those are my clients too. I mean, those are my individual clients too who are struggling with, I'm never going to see her again. I swear I, that's the last time. And he'll come in and yeah, I saw her one more time. You yeah. know, so people lie to themselves as well. It's, it, they they know that what they're doing is is perhaps not the right thing to do for them, but but it's very hard to say no. It's it's um, yeah, especially tempting. Like, the sex in your marriage has probably been like for a long time. Well, sometimes an right? affair is fun. It's exciting. It's new. Yeah, but what it really is, it, 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 more often than not, uh, it, somebody doesn't fall in love with, with a, a third party. They fall, they fall in love with the feeling that, that they feeling have inside that, 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 that they have when they're with that third party. Yeah. That's what it is. And they sometimes they feel younger. They feel more beautiful. They yes. feel more buffed. They feel um, like they've just shaped 20 years more up. More desirable. That's a great word, Joe. Right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. So obviously infidelity, bad idea, but... But you Not, can recover. You can recover. And your marriage can survive. I think oh, only if you oh, hire and, Lisa. And, and really in a much stronger way. Thank you, Barbara. In, <laughs> in a much stronger way um, and in quality. Stronger? Yeah. Seriously? No. Yeah, I think best so. friends. Best friends. So. With, with, with emotional generosity, absolutely. This is what you, you know what, Because, because yeah. what I think happens is that you have this feeling of having survived 
the worst it can be. And so there's a vulnerability yeah. and there's an openness uh -huh. and, and an ability to uh -huh. share your feelings because right. it doesn't get much worse than having to deal with that. Yeah, so, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank right. you. That's great advice. That's great advice. Everybody should see you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see you after the show. Uh, anyway, thank you. For more information on this, log on to our website, singleprocess.me.